Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today we're going to be looking at a new feature of Blender version 4 which is light and shadow linking. So I have this interior scene, it's not really interior, it's a, but a, it's, a, it's a setup. So the way light linking works is that you can have a light here and uh, you want it to affect just one object, uh, let's say this, this chair here. Now let me just give it a red color for you to see it very easily. So let's say, give it a power of 100. See how it looks? It's affecting basically everything in the room. But if you wanted to just affect this chair, what I can do is go to the object setting of that light and then you'll see a new panel called shading and under that you'll see light linking. I can create a new collection for the light linking and then I can add any objects that I want to, that I want to be affected by this light. So I'll grab this play this uh, chair. By the way, this works with collection. As you can see, this, this chair is a collection of different meshes. So I can either just grab a single mesh. You select the light and then drag the object into this. And you can see now only that part of the chair is being affected. Everything else in the scene is not affected by that light. If I change the color of this light, and to maybe a blue you can see only that is being affected uh, but uh, again this works with collections too so i can go back to the light properties and uh, re remove this and uh, instead use a whole collection and you can see now only that chair is affected by that light you can also use multiple lights so let's say this one is a red uh, you can see that uh, this is also only affecting this because it still has the sofa collection. So if I remove this, now it will affect the entire room. If I undo, you can see it will do the opposite. Now let me first remove that. Uh, you can also invert your, your light linking. Uh, for example, right now it's only the chair, the sofa that's being affected by the light. But if you click on this icon here, the opposite is true. So everything in the scene is getting affected by the light except this chair. So if I change this to a more pronounced, maybe let me turn off these, hide these lights for a second. You could see what's going on better. So you can see everything is affected by the light and uh, let me just remove everything. So this is how everything would look with just this blue light. Now if I just exclude the sofa or if I only have the sofa being affected by this light, this is what we get. If I invert that, this is what we get. Now you still see the sofa because the sofa is able to reflect bounce light from other objects around it. What is being excluded is the direct light from this lamp. We also have shadow linking. For example, we have a light, I have a light here and uh, you can see this lamp casting a shadow on the back of the wall. And uh, I also can have another object, let's say these books. Yeah, casting a shadow there. Uh, if I want to just have this lamp cast a shadow, but not the books, all I can do is just go back to shadow linking, create a new collection and drag this desk light. And you can see that uh, only the lamp is casting a shadow. The books also seem to cast the shadow. The books are also in the lamp collection. That's why they were casting a shadow. So if I grab them and uh, move them out of that, uh, you should see that uh, they don't yeah, they don't cast a shadow anymore. And if I move them, you can see they are barely making any effect in the scene. If I remove all the light linking, uh, the shadow linking, you can see they are cast their shadow. Yeah, so I think this is a really, really powerful feature that we are going to love. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.